I want to show you this corn demonstration that we have. I'm Jenny Carlio with NC State Extension. So you can see that we have two different sides of this field. On this side, we've harvested it with a traditional corn header. On this side, we harvested it with a corn header that's equipped with a residue chopper underneath. And there's a few advantages and disadvantages of using either one. So on this side where we have the residue really finely chopped, you can see here, this residue is gonna be able to come in contact with the soil much more easily. And the more contact that residue has with the soil, the more contact it'll have with the microbes that are gonna be able to degrade it. And that can do a couple of positive things for us. First of all, it will prevent um, the residue from interfering with the planter as we, as we begin to plant our next crop, which probably is going to be wheat in this case. Corn residue can harbor fusarium fungus that causes vomitoxin in our wheat. So we want to make sure that that residue is completely degraded before our wheat flowers where the, the fusarium fungus can begin to infect our wheat crop and create vomitoxin in our grain. Now on the side with the traditional header, we've got a couple advantages here too. So this doesn't require any specialized equipment. It doesn't require as much fuel or as much power from the combine to run multiple things at once. And also there is some exposed soil. So if we have a smaller drill that we're gonna be using that doesn't maybe have as much downforce, we could potentially be able to get our crop in the seed in the ground a little bit better than we would have if we had uniform residue all across the field. So ultimately what we wanna see is this finely chopped residue before planting our next crop because that's gonna give it the best chance for success.